Hello everyone, Todd Shellnut here with CFI Pro Courses and it is my favorite day of the week, Regulations Wednesday. Just got finished with my normal workday duty, so I apologize for the late post, but I didn't forget about you, so let's get started. This question today comes from one of the, my YouTube subscribers and the question was, he took a check ride and the check ride ended up in a notice of disapproval. Didn't pass a check ride on the first go, unfortunately. And the question was, could he log the time of that check ride as pilot in command time? And so that was the question. If it's on a, uh, a student pilot is in an airplane and they're on a check ride, can they log the time of the check ride when they're in the airplane with the examiner? Whether it resulted in a notice of disapproval or not, can they log that time on the check ride? And the reason behind this question was because if you really think about it, the person's not appropriately rated to fly the aircraft. They don't hold an airplane or a single engine or land or any type of pilot certificate except for the student pilot certificate. So, no worries whatsoever. I know that there is some things that we look at in 6151. I know there's some things that we look at uh, in uh, other parts of the regs, and I want you to know where this has come from. So, uh, where this is coming from. So, what we're going to do is quickly bounce over to a letter of interpretation that specifically deals with this. And this letter of interpretation comes to us uh, it's dated June 30th, 2009, and it's Daniel Murphy. So you can actually search this on the web. You can just put uh, Murphy 2009 FAA, and you'll get this letter that comes up. Now, in this letter, uh, Mr. Murphy has three very distinct questions. One of the questions that Mr. Murphy has is uh, whether or not a person can conduct a circling approach. So... That's not something that we are too interested in, the circling approach. Uh, then the second question he asked is, uh, whether a pilot may log pilot in command flight time, you can see it's right here in the middle of the page, uh, whether a person can log pilot in command flight time under 14 CFR uh, 61.51, that's how to fill out a log book, or and 61.51 echo one specifically dealing with logging PIC time, during a practical test, when 14 CFR 6147 Bravo requires that the pilot act as PIC, and, and then it gives me another one. So this letter of interpretation goes on to read that if you come down here to the second page, uh, it says, secondly, you require about the interplay between section 6147 Bravo, which states the examiner is not the PIC for the practical test in the absence of prior agreement. And it goes on and on and on. And I'll explain to you in detail or just in short question what the answer is. So the answer to this is absolutely positively you can 100% log PIC time on a check ride. And it goes in here to explain why you can do that. And what's really Weird about this is, of course, the FAA and, and their regulations is not very clear about it. And so this particular uh, letter of interpretation goes into each part, and there's a couple of things in here that, uh, that, that, are, that are true facts. Like right here in the middle of the page, it says the PIC must be designated before or during the flight and hold the appropriate category class and type rating for the conduct the flight, and that is per the regs. Uh, and, a, and, a, and a previous letter of interpretation as well. And then it also says down here, it says, um, uh, in your example, the pilot taking a practical test does not meet any of the, uh, does not meet any of the circumstances for logging PIC time in 6151 ECHO, which is 100% correct. They don't. Uh, the pilot is neither the sole occupant of the aircraft, nor acting as PIC of an aircraft on which there's more than one pilot required. The pilot is the sole manipulator of the controls, but is not rated and does not have privileges for the aircraft under Section 1.1 definitions. Uh, pilot must be rated in the aircraft to act as PIC. Now, uh, it goes on down here uh, to, to give us some more information and then the final answer. And so right here, this is a very, very important thing. It says that uh, uh, an exception to this rating requirement has existed since the FAA issued 
Uh, and it gives a little bit of research there, the old stuff there. But it says in this final ruling that the FAA explained that an unrated pilot is qualified to act as PIC during a practical test because that pilot possesses the appropriate experience prior to the practical test for their particular certificate or rating. Now, don't get confused. There's logging PIC and there's acting PIC. We know that the person's acting PIC because they're the only person in there to act as the PIC. But our question is logging. So if we go on and read a little bit more, it says, though there have been multiple changes to Part 61 in their intervening years, this exception never has been withdrawn. No similar exception has been made with respect to logging PIC time under 6151. It is inconsistent that a pilot is permitted to act as PIC but not log PIC when both sections 1.1 and 51 require that the pilot be ready for the aircraft. The pilot must possess the appropriate experience prior to the practical test. Here is what we're looking for here. Therefore, a pilot may log PIC time for the practical test with respect to the student flight reference in your letter. The student may log PIC time for the practical test. And the same reason, even though the student pilot does not meet any of the Section 6151 ECHO requirements. Isn't that cool? So now we actually know this. And I've actually had this question come up a couple of times, but um, I love taking your request. If you have anything, kind of stump the chump for me. God, I love that. You can make it as deep as you want to make it. I don't really care. Uh, make me, make me sweat over this stuff. Look, if you haven't already, do me a huge favor. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and like this video and click on that little bell to be notified. And for Pete's sake, man, Please let other people know about how cool this stuff is that I'm trying to lay down to you. I'm Todd Shelnut with CFI Pro Courses, and I will see you next week. Take care.